In this video, we're going to learn how to convert the given equations into standard form. We see we're going to start with these two equations, y equals 3x plus 1 and y equals 1 half x minus 3. Now these are two separate problems that we'll deal with individually. But before we begin those problems, we have to remember what standard form looks like by looking at the general form. From our notes, we remember that the general form of a line is a x plus b y is equal to c, where a, b, and c are integers. They're not fractions. Okay, So a, b, and c must be integers. Now, when we look at number 1, number 1 says y equals 3x plus 1. Okay. We remember that a will always be the coefficient of x, b will always be the coefficient of y, and c will always be that constant term on the end. Looking at all three of these coefficients or numbers, they are all integers, so there's nothing special needed to be done with this problem other than getting x and y on the same side of the equal sign. Similar here, x and y are on the same side of the equal sign. To get x and y on the same side, I simply need to bring the x term to this side of the equation because that constant term is already on the right, and that's where I want him. So to bring this positive 3x to the left-hand side, I simply need to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. The 3x's cancel, and I get standard form negative 3x plus y is equal to 1. It's a good habit to have that a value be positive, so what I can simply do is multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 gives me a positive 3x, negative 1, so that's minus y equals negative 1. Okay, this is an acceptable answer, but this just is conventional to have that a term be positive. That was the easy one. This next one, y equals 1 half x minus 3, is a little bit more difficult because when we look at the coefficient of x, it is no longer an integer. Rather, it's a fraction. So the first thing we need to do is through multiplication, we need to eliminate this fraction. Remember, the multiplication property of equality says that I can multiply both sides of the equation by anything I want, just as we did up here. We multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides. Coming down here, to eliminate the 1 half as a fraction, as the coefficient, what I need to do is always multiply by the denominator. Whatever the denominator is, here it's 2, multiply by it. If it were 4, I would multiply by 4. If it were 5, I would multiply by 5. Whatever this is, multiply by that denominator on both sides of the equation. So what we'll have is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So 2 times y equals 2 times 1 half x minus 3. Now at this point, 2y is just that. It's 2y. And now we remember to use the distributive property. 2 times a half. Now we know that 2 times 1 half does give us 1 whole, but more specifically, the 2 and the 2 here cancel. So I'm left with just whatever the numerator is. So it is 1x. 2 times a half does give us 1. And then 2 times negative 3 does give us negative 6. And now looking at this equation here, I see that all of my coefficients and my constant here are integers, so I can simply bring this x over and get it in standard form through subtraction. So we get negative 1x plus 2y equals negative 6. And again, just like up here, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1 to arrive at standard form, which will be 1x minus 2y equals positive 6. And that is our answer.